Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just notepad and the command prompt. This tutorial is on the logical operator, the exclamation point, which is the not operator. Let's go ahead and open up my website, javacjava.com. Click on the begin button. We're going to scroll down to the logical operator, not tutorial. The logical exclamation mark not operator is used to perform logical complement or negation operations on boolean variables, expressions, or method return values. That sort of techno babble makes this operate, operator seem like it must have some amazing superpowers. In reality, it simply changes the evaluation of a boolean value or result from true to false or false to true. Notice I stated, stated the evaluation of a boolean value or result. It does not change the value of the variable. That is all the not logical operator does. So I got a quick example set up down here. A um, couple variables, true var initialized to true, false var initialized to false. Makes complete sense. And then we invoke the print line method three times, displaying not true var, not false var, and then true var again. So not true var is going to display false, not false var is going to display true, and true var is going to display true. Reason why I put this in here is to show you that not true var does not change the value of true var. True var will always remain true and, until you use the, the assignment operator, the equals, to change its value. Okay, you get it. So why would such an operator ever be used at all, right? Well, the reality is the not operator is rarely used on a regular basis in any sort of a program, but there are many circumstances where it does make 100% complete sense. So let's go ahead and come down here, <clears throat> highlight that, use my down arrow on my keyboard to control that. Control C to copy or right click and copy. Either way, let's move this off screen here, go to start. Search, type in CMD for the command prompt. If you're running Windows 7 or earlier, you could type in start run and then CMD. Let's type in Java C first thing. You'll see a whole bunch of stuff scroll down here. Now, if you'd see it go off on some strange error about unrecognized Java C, blah, 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 then you don't have the Java development kit installed properly. Go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. Make sure you get that up and running good before you do these tutorials. Otherwise, they aren't gonna help you out a lot there. Uh, let's go and type in CLS to clear the screen. CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory and backslash will tell it to go to the root. Type in MD Java. MD is short for make directory and Java will be the directory name we're making. I already have it, but if you didn't, it would go ahead and create it. CD Java, MD not, CD not, and then we'll type in notepad not.java. Not.java is going to be our source code file name, also known as our compilation unit. Click Control V to paste all that stuff in there. And let's go up here and save this. So our first six statements up here are exactly what we had discussed before. And let's just go ahead and come over here, type in CLS Java C to run the Java compiler, pass it the compilation unit of not.java, and let's run it. So we got false, true, true which is exactly what we were expecting. Not true var is false, not false var is true, and true var still is true. It did not change it. Now, um, I was struggling with how I'm going to kind of give you an example, especially if you're just learning Java on, on where the not operator is going to make a, um, some sense. So in this particular, what I envision is basically, um, picture yourself, you're creating a video game and this video game is like a first-person shooter type video game. And basically, you start off healthy. Well, first of all, you can choose whether you want an easy, medium, or hard game. And you, your player starts off healthy at like, you know, 100% of whatever, you know, their health is. Now, as the game progresses, you take, take um, a lot of damage. And then eventually, your player is not healthy. Now, when your player is not healthy... Um, certain things will happen typically like the screen will blur um there'll, there'll be a simulation of the player staggering and the controller will all of a sudden kind of seem to be choppy right so that's that's what we're going to do in this next example here and there's a lot in this example that i haven't gone over with yet and 
a lot of it won't make sense and don't worry about understanding that uh, the, these these things just yet I will explain everything in future tutorials and I'm gonna go uh, statement by statement throughout this tutorial kind of explaining what everything does so the logic will make complete sense and then we're just gonna come down to this one line right here which is the if statement if not healthy and then that's ultimately where where my example is going here um, this whole thing here is what's called a method and we've gone over the main method a million times you know and the main method has this opening and closing braces which is the code block for that same thing with this is healthy method here right it has an opening and a closing code blocks there um, You'll also notice the keywords public static, same thing as public static um, main up here. Don't worry about that. Boolean, basically this is healthy, <coughs> excuse me, method will return back a Boolean value. Okay, so I'm just going to come back up here and talk about this statement here. So this statement, we're declaring a string of game uh, variable name, uh, game type selected, and we're setting it equal to a string liberal of uppercase hard. And then we're initializing a Boolean variable healthy and setting it equal to true. And then I'm initializing a double data type variable current life and setting equal to a thousand, okay? Now, as the play, game is being played, you take a lot of damage. At some point, your current life in this particular example is equal to 308.76. Now, throughout any video game, it'll constantly be checking as you progress through the game whether your player is healthy. Now, if your player is not healthy, it'll, it'll change the flow of how, the, how you're going to perceive the game to be played. But, you know, what I was talking about, blurring the screen, staggering, and a choppy controller. So this particular line right here, we have our, our variable healthy, which we set up here to true, and then is healthy, we'll either change that to false or leave it at true, depending on um, certain control flow statements that exist in the routine here, okay? Now we are going to pass it the value of current life, 308.76, and game type selected, which is the string literal hard. Down here in the is healthy method, we are going to get those values and then life left will be equal to 308.76 and game mode will be equal to the string literal hard. Now, um, the boolean is the type that the help is healthy is going to be returning. And the last statement in this method is return, return val. And return val is a variable that I initialized up here to true. And these are all the control statements there. So basically, is healthy will always return back true unless one of these conditional statements are met and then it'll change return value to false, right? So we've got our if game mode equals hard and if that is equal to, if that evaluates to true, then it'll go ahead and execute and everything in this code block. Otherwise we've got our else if and our else if, right? Um, since game mode right up here being passed in is going to be equal to hard It'll go ahead and execute everything in this code block and these two other else ifs will just a short circuit And it'll go ahead and drop right down to the return val return here There's a much better way to do this right here And that's using the like a switch statement that comes to mind there, but I haven't gone over that in my tutorials yet so What's going to happen here is game mode is equal to hard. Yep, that evaluated good. And now we're going to execute everything in this code block. And now we're going to do another control flow statement, another if statement. So if life left is less than or equal to 400, well, we know life left is equal to 308.76. So that evaluates the truth. So we're going to execute everything in this control statement. And we're going to change return val equal to false. And then we're going to return return val right which is false and that's where the assignment operator takes whatever's returned back from this method right here and assigns that value to the variable healthy now now we can get through that whole explanation on why why we'd even say like the the not operator here so in this next if statement here we've got if not healthy then we're going to call everything inside of this code block if our player is not healthy we're going to blur the screen, uh, simulate the player staggering, make the controller seem choppy. And these, these um, 
these are more methods that would actually you know implement just the the logic to do those very three things so what we've got here is if not healthy if you're reading your code or you're writing your code this just it, it reads right i can't tell you how many times throughout the you know previous few minutes i've said you know if your player's not healthy this is exactly how this reads if if not healthy so we could also um actually before i say what else we could do let's go ahead and save this right and of course we had already um compiled it we'll go ahead and clear the screen again here we compile compile and basically because we chose hard for the game type selected and we're currently at 308.76 our player is not healthy and so we're going to blur the screen simulate the player staggering and make the controller seem choppy whatever those methods did it would go ahead and execute that code there so if we had for example chose medium right um, as our when we first started the game out there before I run that come down here and you can see if our game mode is equal to hard it's not going to be anymore it's going to be equal to medium and our threshold for um, a player being not healthy is under three under 300 or equal to 300 right and so that's not going to be the case so we're not going to have any of the stuff where we blur the screen simulate the player staggering or make the controller seem choppy. It's just gonna, we're gonna continue on with normal gameplay. So, and as you can see, that's the case. We don't experience any of those things at all there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this, close out of that. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.